In SwiftUI, buttons are highly customizable and easy to work with. To make a button, simply type button, parentheses. You could add text in here. I'll just call this button button, and then I'll add a closure. And I can put functionality inside of this closure. So let's say that we had a view of a circle and we wanted to tap a button to change its color. Let's put this button inside of a V stack like this. And we will create a circle view like this. And we'll add a foreground color of dot pink. Okay, format my code. Uh, I also want to make this a little bit smaller. Frame width 100, height 100. All right, so when we click this button, we want to change this circle color right here. To do that, we'll need to create a variable up here. State var color equals color dot pink. And then we can use this variable to apply it to our modifier here. In our button, we can change this variable by saying color equals color dot orange. And because we're in a closure, we need to add self to this variable. Now, when we preview our UI, we tap button, and we can see that it changes to orange. But there's another way to write our buttons that allows us a little bit more flexibility and is more of a standard way of creating buttons. So inside of our uh, button view parentheses, we can add the parameter la label action, and then we can put some action inside of here. So let's make a function and call it change color. And we can add that function down here, func change color. And we can put this code inside of our function like this. Now our button is more like a container where we can add whatever views that we want here. So I will call this button change color. And let's preview it. And here we go. There we go, just works as expected. This gives us a little bit more flexibility because then we can uh, add a little bit more detail to our views uh, inside of this button here. So in, for this text, I want this to be white and I want to add a background modifier of color dot, we'll make this black and we can add some padding around it and I'm going to add a corner radius of four. Okay, so now we have a nice rounded button and when we click it, we still get the desired functionality. So by making a button in this way, you can really wrap almost any view inside of this button and have it work. So you can turn an image into a button or an icon into a button or anything like that. And that's how you make a basic button.